Well, this is completely unexpected. Yep. Uh, Sonic Lost World will be available for digital download on Steam come November 2nd. Yes. What in the flying <laughs> fuck? This was one of the exclusive titles to Nintendo Wii U. One of the yeah. one of one of the um, contract Nintendo contract game deals. It's the first game I got for my Wii U when I got it. Yeah, it was probably one of the few reasons I lost Sonic fans would have got a Wii U. I still mm. own the own a Wii U, but now I have one less reason to get a freaking Wii U. <laughs> You would think that Nintendo are like, no, 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 we license this through our console, we we have this now on a contract, but no. And it's just, it just blows my mind. It's like, this, a game that you wouldn't think on a, on a Nintendo console be ported to another system, especially... What was the whole point that yeah. this was developed exclusively for the machine anyway? Wasn't that the whole deal? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much right. it. Like, oh, it uses the um, accelerometer and the gyros, motion control, whatever. It had the touch oh, screen. Whatever, yes. It had any anything uh, anything else which was contracted by Nintendo to actually use in the game. Mm. And now, oh, that was easy. You just like to take that and use it as a separate button onto the controller. Like, yeah, kind of like Sonic Colors, um, mm. sixty FPS, which obviously is one of the few games on Wii U it has sixty FPS. Uh, yeah. What else? I'm looking, look, trying to look what the, what the updates are. HD resolution support, which is a HD game anyway. Full yeah, game, I'm, full, I'm kind of baffled. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of baffling. Like you know, the re-release Gears of War, like HD again. It's like it was already HD in the beginning. Yeah, it's, it's no longer the HD edition. It's now the remastered version. It's like Last oh, of Us right. remastered. At least Last of Us was a 30 FPS game, but they released it yeah. PS4 because 60 FPS. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, that, that was like. Game. It was really graphically intensive and a lot, and a very demanding game on PS3. On PS4, you had a bit of extra elbow room to do 60, 60 FPS. Yeah, it's just it's unfortunate. Still... And Uncharted 4 is going to be thirty. Yeah, the um, the jury's still somewhat up and down with that. As, yeah. As um, also, Steam achievements, controls, and a keyboard, um, leaderboards, and the Steam Cloud. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, here's the thing I'm curious about. When you told me about this, was first of all, well, okay, how I was just trying to think to myself, well, how's it going to work without, obviously, some of the features that were in the Wii U version? I mean, first of all, there's me, there's the me feature, which is when you play the level, sometimes you'll get a me actually saying, hey, I got an item you wanted. You can actually trade items during a level if you want. Mm. Um, also, the other thing was the DLC, which is, of course, you could play Yoshi, Yoshi Willy World and Zelda. I mean, that's not going to be any other. Yeah, also <laughs> the um, Nightmare DLC, I think the Nice yeah, DLC the, the, will be yeah. included in this as well. Yeah, I mean, because Sega owns it, obviously. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, why wouldn't they? Yeah, why well, wouldn't they? Um, but yeah, I mean, actually, the other thing I was trying to think of, well, how's it going to work? Because the thing with Lost World is obviously that Sonic has a run button, which, but well, to be fair, it's no different from the boost button. It's basically, this is... Yeah, but this is, this is the, this is the run button. It's a lot more bullshit than, than the boost button. The boost button was a form of invincibility. You can boost into enemies. You can use it to just um, take mm. out bosses. No, but my only question is, is how is if you were playing this on the keyboard, you know, have, this is basically what do you press instead of like the the back trigger? Basically, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh no, the left mouse button, hold that down Ooh. to run. Probably, I'm just saying that in general. Like, it would feel a bit weird to do that. But then again, let's be fair. This is, you know, some of the game major sort of games have been released on, you know, Steam. We've had the least we have iteration, so you know, it's not that. Super holy fucking shit. Yeah, and, and hey. what's, I would say the um, aftermath of the announcement. This has just been a, as this recording has been like maybe five, six hours, mm. and a lot of people are saying, "Why don't you? Why don't you port Unleashed to PC? Why don't you port Colors to PC?" But they did port Unleashed to PC, didn't they? No, they didn't. It was a didn't fan. It? it was a fan port that they changed oh, yeah, stages right. to right. as the Unleashed project of Generations, you're right, which you're is right. a fucking fantastic port. It looks superb, like streamlined. Everything it looks great. Yeah. They are all the, the only difference is it's using the uh, generations hood and it's using the generations controls. Yeah, essentially, yeah. But yeah, unleashed and colors. Like, why do you part those? And my question is, if you couldn't actually take the time out to reconfigure and port this to the PC, are we against a PC, which is going to be no, no, no small. It's not a small task. Hmm. Why don't you port it to the PS4 and Xbox One? 
Yeah, I don't. I mean, this is the thing I'm trying to. I would write honestly. No. It's great. We. It's great that like PC gamers and people who don't own a Wii U can play this game now. It is fantastic you're able to do this for a mm. two-year-old game. Mm. But what if those, especially me, don't have gaming PCs mm-hmm. and would want to play it on a console since it's was a console game? Well, they I did mean, check out it's only I Windows. I mean, um, Ubi- Ubisoft did it with Zombie U. Yeah. Zombie U came out as a Wii U exclusive, and that came out for PC and PS4, I believe. Mm. I think so. Let me, let me just double check. Right. You keep talking. Okay, I was just going to say, the, the two weird things about this is that... Again, in terms of like pointing it over to say other consoles, I mean, I'm trying to think because like we've had a lot of games. Yes, it is on P. Yes, Zombie is on PS4. Ubisoft ported Zombie Zombie U as retitled Zombie to PlayStation 4. And yeah, PC. although that's really the question is, is like, well, the only reason you would do that is to get more sales out of the game. That's the only reason you would port a game onto other systems. You look at like Resident Evil 4. I mean, that's been on like every major machine in the last few years. Well, Resident Evil 4 is a great game, and obviously Capcom wants to actually fund another other title. Like, I think they did it. I think at the same time, uh, Operation Raccoon City and Resident Evil 6 yeah. were coming out. I believe. So as long as they keep the sales up, and now they're parting that part in a did a re a part of the remaster. Well, they did of, the GameCube. Um, it's Resi- the, Resi- the, game. the GameCube yeah. Resident yeah. Evil, and they're planning to do an actual full on remake Evil of 2. Resident Evil Two, which honestly can't come. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> but the question is, my value is still still valid. If Ubisoft can port their Wii U title to PC and current gen consoles, then they, I'll say current gen includes that includes Wii U, but PS4 yeah. and Xbox One. Why can't you do it with Sonic Lost World? Yeah, I think it's a a like I said a it's more sales and b I would ra- I, most people would rather play it on a console, mm. especially those who don't have gaming PCs. Yeah. I think the other reason I think the other reason they're doing this I think and again this is kind of the bit I'm slightly worried about is in, it probably shows that people are starting to really lose interest in the Wii U because. And it's a shame because, I mean, I've had it for about a year or so. And, you know, personally, I think as a console, I will admit this, I don't play on it as much as I use, like, the internet on it, per se. Um, and, again, that really annoys me because I do think it's like, you know, it is when I do have the games I play, they are fun, they're unique and stuff. And Yeah, there are plenty of good games for it. There's a lot of games you, sh- you should get a Wii U mm. for. Smash, Smash Bros. for Wii U... Bayonetta 2, Wonderful mm. 101. Um, like um, the Undercover, that's Mario the one 3. I played. That was the other first game I got. Um, yeah, there's actually pl- plenty of good exclusive games with the yeah. console. But as of right now, Sonic Lost World wasn't as well received as Generations. And I don't know, maybe this is like a test to see what they can do and actually do good PC yeah. parts. Well, and if anyone's, any, if any, any company's good at producing good PC games, it's... Well, yeah, I mean, considering all the shit that's been going out with Steam PC games at the minute, I mean, that's the other thing I'm slightly worried about, is please don't let it turn into the massive fuck-ups with MGS5, Arkham Knight, and all that jazz. Hmm. Mind you, they actually... Mind you, they, with their football manager and creative assembly with their PC games, they, they're not going to fuck yeah, up. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it is weird to think that I think at the end, I mean, remember that the whole plan was Lost World was part of like, the three games exclusive deal with Nintendo. There was that, there was Mario and Sonic App, whatever, Olympic Games, and of course Sonic Boom. And this sort of shows that maybe that deal is over. Maybe this is the final, you know, now it's finished and done with. Maybe this is the reason why Lost World's getting a port on Steam at least. Well, hopefully, we'll actually, hopefully this will put Sonic back, on, back forward. Like, okay, not just Sonic Boom now. Bring forward another game because Fire and Ice was shipped to next yeah, year. Yeah, I mean that's the big thing because obviously that you know most of the same the last few months it's been mainly about Boom and the whole business of Boom from Resident Evil and Crystal's TV show and Fire and Ice. It's kind of I think this is their attempt to say okay you know here's the okay here's the game we released a while back but it's to at least remind you this is the main series and hey there's a big 25th anniversary coming up. Yeah. Well, let's just hope that the modern community gives us some great. I'm going to say with this type of re- recreations of some old stages, maybe some new stages. I'm going to say, but if you pre- pre-order pre-order now, we can get All Stars Racing Transform for free. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say definitely. I would be, I would laugh when I see some of the what people could do with the whole like round world tube thing with Sonic. If they can do something like that, I was thinking yeah, that's going to be some fun. I expect some Sonic One and Sonic Adventure oh, <laughs> tube style. 